Hello. Oh, there we are. We're still pretty janky though. Um, what's going on here is you've got uh, two quarter by one inch rod magnets magnetized axially through the length. Uh, in here, right here in the middle. I wish you could have seen it before, but right now it's it's wrapped to protect it. That is a cylindrical piece of ferrite. It's got little foam packing on either edge to kind of keep it from fragging. What I wanted to show is this. Let me up too close. Right, get it set up here. With the camera, so you can see. Can you see? All right. This hand holds the other magnet. I'm going to be holding it in my fingers like this, so there's no way that the end of it can touch the ferrite. Uh, very scientific, ain't it? But it's what I got at the moment, and this is just, you know, janky YouTube video. But uh, I'm going to start from down here. Start closing in on the ferrite. There it went. I stopped approximately where it happened, but this mag had to be approximately that close for the ferret ferrite that was uh, it's in much closer proximity to be attracted to the ferrite here in the middle. The ferrite is non-magnetic in and of itself. It's an EMI filter, but um, kind of goes to show you that the proximity field thing might have something to do with it. And then I just posted another idea about stuff. Uh, we'll see if I can actually get to experimenting on any of it. Talk to you kids later.